Oh, okay. It's been a minute. I fucked up. 320, oh, today's 329. Well, that's not a good start. Uh, today is June 16th. It's 329 p.m. There's a lot going on. Yeah, that's like my fucking catchphrase. I go with Monday. Probably notice I have this fucking scrape on my face. My hands getting a little better, but they're fucking destroyed. Uh, my wrist really hurts. I can barely elbow my knees pretty jacked i got i got got son no i was not wearing a helmet i understand now uh why i should have been because i've always been in control even when i've broken bones and stuff i saw everything happen this time that's not what happened fucking boulder colorado cracker ass fucking bike path nothing special or hard or difficult or scary or anything just a regular old people were around the last thing i remember i was just riding my bike i fell into i guess a dream the next thing I remember, I'm riding my bike, there's blackness, basically. Uh. The next sensation I have is my face. I can, like, feel my face scraping against the ground, and I'm, like, in a dreamlike state. Like, that hurts. My face, that doesn't feel good. And then I hear this voice that's like, Oh my god, are you okay? And it, like, brings me back. No, when I grab my face, I don't, I, there may have been two guys, there may have only been one, I really don't know. Obviously, I fucking hit my head. I don't really know what happened. Behind me, there was some sand. Did you hit that sand? And it must have been what happened. But, dude, no recollection of that. No recollection of trying to, like, catch the bike and adjust. Nothing. It's just pure blackness. And I know some people will know that's probably a concussion. The only time I've ever had a gap in time was when I got choked out in a fight, which doesn't really count. You know what I mean? Like, I got, and I got choked from behind, so let's relax. I thought the fight was over. But anyway, and dude, if I, like, went out before I hit the ground, like, that's fucking scary. That's where the part is like well no you can't protect your head because you're like a limp noodle and that has never happened to me and i obviously hit my head i mean my whole face is this <laughs> obviously uh not so much here right here not here or here so much but right here i'm super lucky i didn't fucking crack my skull open i'm super lucky i'm not dead or brain dead or super scary i have a helmet already i'm gonna go get a second helmet because i don't know that first helmet's been banged around a little bit and stop fucking around with my life i guess now so i haven't gone to the doctor really trying to avoid i mean i know i probably should for the most part i know what to do this wrist is okay it's getting better bend it like this bend it like this bend it like this trigger finger still work but like certain movements are a little tight on this backside. painful for sure but i think it's gonna be okay i don't think it's broken i don't want to go to the hospital i was able to paint i was able to draw i haven't tried to tattoo yet but i'm gonna I have a couple of days before I have an appointment, so I've just been kind of pushing people off for the next few days and just getting work done at the shop. So that's all happened. Uh, the drop came in, so the drop is shit for friends and family, and we have the drop coming for the public, so that's a big deal. Shout out to Alex. Alex is shipping all that stuff. I'm working on the Apothecary collab. I'm working on all these paintings, all these drawings, flash, tattoos, like everything. And we still have Ron's memorial, his the big memorial where he spread his ashes is coming up on Tuesday, celebrating his life with all of the ski community. Because Aspen is where Ron really, really, really spent a lot of his time when he was younger. Clearly a lot of emotion surrounding this whole thing. I feel like every vlog check-in we're still quote-unquote dealing with this, but this is like reality. You lose someone as significant as your father um, and husband, your kids have to basically move in and take care of you and there's all this dynamic change and it's just it takes a long time for that to settle i think i think some people think that life just gets back to life like really quickly and it, it really doesn't you know pretty much everybody out there you've probably all lost someone and uh you know i just think in a way showing that it's normal that it can interrupt so much of your life. I didn't set out for that, I guess. It just is what it is. It takes a long time to maneuver around a serious loss. And you should take the time, get your mental right. This is life, man. It just, uh, it keeps, the days they keep on coming and they don't stop coming. Smash mouth. All right, so I don't know what else I have to do today. I'm gonna probably just work on, oh, I have a whole list of shits to do here. That's the update. Face will be better soon. Glad I'm not dead. This shit hurts. <laughs>
Wednesday. Cars are just backing out wherever they want. We're in Aspen. Uh, yesterday was the memorial. We did not film because uh, I was just, you know, uh, being present because it's a really big deal in our lives. That's where we're at. Now we're headed back down the mountain. Dogs in tow. We're good to go. We gotta get the shop open. Whoa. Back at the shop. Today is what is Always crazy people outside. I took basically last week and I didn't really tattoo. I was at the shop painting. I tried out some new stuff. Well, I mean, I guess I painted like this when I was younger. Whoa, like in high school. But never as an adult have I attempted to kind of go back. And uh, oh, my wrist. I don't know, just like in a different style. So this guy was next, and then I did this guy, and then I did this guy, and then I did this one, which I fucked up. After, after that, I don't really remember the order, but we got trains, Donald's, <laughs> got the Burden Church, we got the Tory Gates, we got a Coca-Cola. Oh no, that's the second set of trains. This train, kind of wonky, could go back into it, but I get bummed and I don't like it, so I just start over. So like a, a painting like this, I'll just toss the side. A lighthouse, a burning home, a boat, and then the fucked up phone booth out in the middle of the water. It's kind of wonky, but still. And then in this room, we got started this. I'm pretty sure I started this off camera. Uh, so this one's almost done. I just gotta do the bridge. And then just a huge fucking mess to clean up. But that's what's sick about this shop is I now have a separate room for all of this. And I can be as messy as I want because it's separated. The last seven months have been a <clears throat> constant reminder that one day all of us will return to the earth. You're gonna be dust and all the opinions, fucking arguing and debating, the fucking constant conflict all the time is not worth it, you know? So I've like really withdrawn from a lot of things like the internet and just different shit. I'm just trying to work on my stuff, so. Back at the shop, it's, uh, it's like 6.30. In the morning, I finished this sheet and my fucking wrist. The wrist was feeling better. Now, today, not feeling so great. It's sleeping is where I think I keep fucking it up. Um, yeah, this probably looks like nothing, but it has made a world of difference. It still hurts. But uh, I'm pretty sure I tore my TFCC. I have not gone to a doctor. I have just been so fucking busy that uh just been no chance.